Hello guys and welcome to episode 54 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Isabella von Karstein leading the Vampire Counts to world domination. Today we need to figure out how we're going to defend our settlements both at Skaven Blight and at Hellpit. A couple of Skaven armies have popped up so far, I don't think that's going to be the last of them. But these are the main centres that they're going to want to try and take back so I think it's a good idea if we put our last two bloodline lords into these settlements. I don't think it really matters which we put in which, although one might be more developed than the other. Actually no, they're both more or less the same level. So it really doesn't matter. I think what we're going to do, we're going to put uh, Marcus von Karstein here. And we're going to put the other chap up north. What's the raised Deadpool like here? Not too bad. What about recruitment? That's terrible. Absolutely shocking. Okay. We'll go rest us dead. We'll get the invocation. That's important. We definitely need hunger for him. And what else? Oh, we could actually go for... I was going to say Sylvanian, Sylvanian crossbowmen, but we don't have enough. So this isn't too bad. The, the main thing that I'm missing is a Mortis Engine, which I think I could maybe get from Mirag Miragliano, possibly. There are two raised Deadpools here. I just have to try and sneak past the Skaven armies to get there. <laughs> it's nice that these are taking attrition while they're not at war with me, though. That's good. Uh, let's get Invocation of the Heck upgrade. We'll go Aura of Supremacy as well. I think that's the most and best well well-rounded it can be. We can definitely go three Crypt Horrors. We can grab plenty of Crypt Ghouls. I might chuck in a couple Grave Guard. Uh, Blood Knight seems fun, but we'll go Black Knights, Vargolf. And I think we can get Bats upgrade, right? Let's just recruit those. We can get Bats upgrade for the minus 100% upkeep. But it's not really buffing them at all. It would be really nice if these buffed them just a little bit. You know, like buffed direwolves. Oh, that one does buff direwolves. Never mind. But this one actually buffing uh, bell bats a little bit, you know. Same with, like, the brooding horrors with the Vargeis. It's funny how this one buffs it, but these, these ones don't. Also, does this one just give him straight up plus 15% speed to himself? I think it does. So maybe we Maybe we do do this. We'll add like a, a few bats. I think bats are pretty good against Skaven anyway. Like enough to swarm. And then we add like a couple of... Let's do four bats, two direwolves, and we'll look for two more engines. And I think that'll be a well-rounded force. Because we'll have the Crypt Horrors, Crypt Ghouls with the Graveguard, and a Vargolf to chill in the settlement. Or to, like, sorry, ball up with the Mortis Engine. And then we have, like, the flanking forces that can go for the ranged. Seems good. Seems good. What's the garrison like here? Mm, it's okay, but that needs to be leveled up. I'm actually going to struggle to get these armies built, I feel, because we're going to run out of money. We'll get the Crypt Keepers in there, for sure. Yeah, over here, I think I'm going to hold out on building this army for this turn until we get a little bit more cash. So let's head over to Shinmir, Ascendant. who is going to carry on with her raiding. I think everything else was done then for our turn. Yeah, no one else needs to, needs to do anything. We're going to save the cash. We're not going to spend it on any buildings. And we're going to go for Harvest Corpses. And that's everything. We get fresh prey supply next turn, which is extra armor and weapon strength for Vargolf. So that's actually pretty nice. The armor for Vargolf is pretty big. After that, we should just go straight into Fueled by Fear, to be honest. There's no real reason not to. Funny how I can't queue it, though. Even though it requires the technology before. Let's see what the Exiles of Corn get up to. 
they are doing a runner. But well, we can just go and take the sunken Kanach and maybe that will be good enough because the ogres will probably take out their armies for me. Oh, Clan Moors with the underweight interception here. We're going to have to play this one out. Should be pretty simple battle, but a good underway interception. Anytime we get an underway interception, always a good thing because it just... Saves us a turn of chasing around this Skaven. And the trouble with underways and using wild roots, whatever, is that, well, A, we can't. <laughs> we can't chase them. But B, like, it took, moves them so far away that like we can never attack them again in one turn most of the time. Okay. This looks pretty cool. What is that? <laughs> is that supposed to be a support beam? <laughs> what? How does that stay up? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> There's a like a board game sort of kind of thing that you can play with. I can't remember what it's called, like floating ladders or something like that. It's just literally a, a game about stacking ladders, and it it ends up looking very much like that. Anyway, um. Let's just get our men together and ready to go. We'll probably pile up these on one side. We'll need our mortis engines ready to go. We'll keep our zombies separate. But we're going to group these into a locked control group. It's funny seeing trees in the underway of a Skaven map. Very weird. Especially good for us though, because it gives us cover against their rattling guns. Although they're quite far back, so it doesn't look like it will. Uh, maybe we can come to the left side here though. Do they have artillery? I don't think they do, it's just rattling guns. There's no blade claw catapults or warp lightning cannons. Right, we can swarm them very quickly. Just carry on. Well, they're going to come towards me because I'm killing all of their death from below. Interesting. I'm going to go straight for the Grace here with my lord, good old Milland. Might as well have her follow. Right, let's get forwards with the bell bats so we can hit the rattling guns effectively. Oh boy, that's an oof. Do you mind? Okay, let's just keep going past here. <laughs> the dong. Dong. <laughs> dong. Okay, let's just go ahead and put down a nice big pit of shades. Doing plenty of damage to the weapon teams. It's good. And here we go. Lovely. That's not good. Uh, we can get my dogs to engage those. That pit of shades did a ton of damage. Bats are doing well. Let's just drop down an invocation, get some people healed up. Or resurrected. The bats have done well. Really well, actually.
I'm going to do another invocation. Really good. As long as the most engines are engaged, like we're all good in this battle. Alright, let's just speed things up. It's pretty much over. Let's just kill off this brood horror just in case. And I'm done. Alright, we'll just drop another heal. interesting which ones it decides to heal sometimes as if you know like very very strange that it heals ones that don't need healing right, that will do get the models back up a little bit we should replenish the rest at the end of the turn I should probably put this banner on someone. Uh, putting the banner actually on Millen would be good. Yeah, because the 30% speed on his dragon would actually be really nice. Let's take the replenishment. Because we're not actually in a settlement with that army by the looks of things. Alright. Undercity discovered in the Misty Mountain. Now we're going to get rid of that. This is going to require a lot of money to get rid of all of these, huh? I'm not sure if that's because of the event. Might be. Well, our technology is done. Let's move on now to Fueled by Fear. We could also head to infiltrate noble houses. Uh, maybe not yet. All right, let's head over to Isabella. Isabella has got work to do. Just going to be heading towards the Palace of Ruin. Dies. All right, Wilmar. Ooh, where to go, where to go? Alright, Bernard can head towards Bagar. So that's okay. Maybe I should have stayed in friendly territory. Mm, I think we'll be alright. Yeah, and then we have Wilma attack Orion's camp. Hopefully we can just sort of resolve this. Yeah, good. I'm just going to occupy it. We'll pop in walls. We'll pop in rip keepers. We'll demolish that building. We don't need it. Another settlement. Oh, another place secured. Another province secured. Right over to Walborgd. So where's Walborg heading now? Let me just check Go our diplomatic on. relations here. Siblings and I welcome you. It's good. We can get a military here. alliance. Very nice. We just need that to keep going up. The Joint Confederation is actually getting pretty close now. Also, check out all these armies. <laughs> what is going on there? Zhao Ming and co. Running through the lands. Most wise. Huh. Are they all heading to destroy the Skaven? I guess so. I should probably move Warborgd toward the Falls of Doom. And then she can go Falls of Doom, Zar, Nagrund, Eagle, Eerie, while Shinmir goes through the top side here. Because these guys are going to hate me soon, surely. Why Why do they like me so much? I don't understand. Undeath Ascendant. 
Look, it is going down. We are still raiding them, of course. It will get to the point where they declare war on me. Right, these two are heading back to deal with these armies of Clan Molder. get Ulrich. So Ulrich might as well start attacking the Isles. Because we have Morath Morphin who's going to come back and hit Troll for Fjord. We just occupy that. Thank you very much. Unless it would be better for me to attack Bellacor. Now we're going to go for the Isle of Whites, I think. Alisal. We take Numas. We definitely want to upgrade that. The money is very useful. I might have to go through and click and find where I can get all the gibbets because there's probably going to be a lot more spaces where I can get them now that I haven't really been paying attention to. I think it's been a little while since I've gone through all my settlements like that. Now, Roderick up against Sigvald in the Frozen City, which has a pretty decent garrison. Can he do it? Hmm. Not sure. Rudolph should be able to take out this army at least. We can do that and take the money. Thank you very much. And he's going to march this way. Oh, he's taking a lot of attrition. What am I making his army into? He's got like loads of fell bats. I guess the upgrades for Felbats is fine. Even though it's not that good. <laughs> Funny, this this army is not really well designed for uh, Rudolph, unfortunately. It would be better if it was a Von Karstein bloodline. I mean, we can always hand it to another lord at some point. If I, for example, recruited uh, a vampire lord, he could take control of it and he should be okay. Bound Spell Spirit Leech. Frederick Fafbach. Not bad, actually. Alright. Well, we're not going to do it yet because we still have to worry about uh, Diffusion of Magic. So the extra upkeep there is a bit, a bit of a pain. Like if we keep making new armies, it's just going to get worse. Alright. With good old. Roderick here. The biggest problem we have is Sigvold himself. The rest of the forces should be fine to deal with because of the Mortis engines. And since they don't really have much range damage, like we can just slowly but surely whittle them down. So I think, honestly, he can probably do it. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to head to the middle, push through the gates here, and hopefully just ball them up and kill them. So we'll send the zombies first, and then the rest of our troops behind. I have a couple of terror guys that can try and get to the walls, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Everywhere is death. And the rest of them. Doggo's included. 
Just move off to the side here. The mortis engines being the ones attacked by the tower is a bit annoying because I'm going to need the regen on them. Although, mm, I mean, they need to just hurry up because <laughs> that did a ton of damage. Wow. Ouch. Those towers. Uh, might not need an invocation actually on those. Might be a waste. I'm going to breath attack the Marauder Horsemen. They're like the only ranged unit that they have. And kill off some of them. That will help a little bit. Something shooting at me. Is that a hell cannon? Or is it a tower? Unless it's just like a fireball. Not sure. Anyway, let's keep pushing through. This is a pretty good target for a bit of shades. The reason I didn't drop the invocation is because the Mortis engines sort of regenerate when they're in combat. Ooh, <laughs> let's not let them just free fire my bats down, that would be bad. Those Chaos Knights took a lot of damage, but they're not actually dying yet. It's rough. Let's right, see if we can get some more units in here. So where did Sigvald go? We've got to keep an eye on him, because if he comes up and starts attacking my lord, that could get pretty ugly. I don't know if Spirit Leeching him is worth it, because he's probably going to have a lot of... He actually doesn't have any ward save. Well, maybe we're fine. Death to the living. This is done. Uh, I can't use that on the can race. That sucks. I want to keep hitting Sigvald. I'm going to keep hitting him with the Spirit Leech. Otherwise he's going to continue to do tons of damage. I could also get my Terror Geist to hit him as well. They have good armor piercing, so they should be able to get some good damage on him. Mortish engine. All before us will perish. My right, Sigfall's doing a little bit of a runner there. Find me if you dare. I'm actually going to take these off. Because this is a fantastic target. For a couple of death streaks. We'll do one at a time. Looks like that one kind of whiffed. I want it to hit just here. That wasn't too bad. I 
and it just takes no damage. It's because he's so small. Pretty hard to hit. Like, automatically dodges all of the attacks just by moving slightly. Most engines are doing a good job though. We'll speed things up a bit. That is incredible how little damage he's taking. Maybe the Spirit Leech will manage to hit his regen cap or something. Oh, <laughs> the terror guys that just slung a load of them. He's surrounded, he just doesn't care. Just go attack the tower there. That way the bats can at least do something useful. And we just keep it sped up. Keep attacking Sigfold. Maybe I can reduce his armor. Maybe that will help. We can do Enfeebling Foe actually as well. And that knocks down his stats quite a bit. So hopefully, we can get some good work done. Although my Lord's taking a lot of damage. Just waiting for him to turn around and start hitting my vampire because I think as soon as he does that, she might actually take a lot of damage. Let's keep things sped up again. I'm gonna drop a spirit later on him. We got plenty of magic. And we're gonna do more enfeebling foe. And we're gonna do more withering so that he has less armor. All those things are going to help us do more damage against him. Making Sigvold out of play would be pretty good for us. Tell you what. Here's a boss. If he's able to take on two terror guys. And my lord, who is almost dead. I don't know if that's because of the towers, though. It might be because of the towers. Oh, she needs to be careful as well. We can tell him to be pinned down. That's absolutely fine. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we won. Okay. Oh. A little bit touch and go there for my... Uh, <laughs> my lord. A vampire too, to be honest. We'll get one more off, I guess. 
want to try and get these canaries back to full health actually as well. Yeah, that'll do. Heroic victory. Very nice. Ten thousand experience for that. That's a lot of experience. Also got a lot of decent amount of money. I'm almost tempted to raise this one. Oh, that was a sack. In second occupy works too, I guess. Ready. Nice, some decadent hosts are destroyed. That's good. No more Sigvald. It's like another annoying dude that we never have to deal with again. Uh, let's go for Necrarch and then we can get Uncanny Presence. Right, further, max that out. Very, very nice. Let's head over to Milland. Right, Milland can destroy another army now. Well, it looks like we caught the one one of them that tried to run away, and then the other one stayed where it is. We don't have to 2v1 them, which is good. Alright, let's just go for the next one then. Let's do it. Get into that underway. Wipe out the Skaven. Okay, so going to basically be very similar to before, but they have a lot of rattling guns. I'll have the Grave Guard lead the charge. Okay, that'll do. Start the battle. Off we go. I'll start spawning the dwellers below or death from below. There it is. Land rats. Just let the bats destroy them every time. They might not have many charges though. That's three already. Like it's really not that useful against the vampires. All right, let's move towards them. Gonna throw my bats on the right flank here. Okay, now that they're aiming at my infantry, we're going to want to, well, first of all, make sure these don't just get absolutely wiped out. And next, I'm just going to land in these with my two flyboys.
How are my bats doing? They're not doing as well this time. Maybe because the rattling guns are higher rank. Possibly. Your time has come. All right, we can definitely do an invocation. Sorry, not an invocation. A pit of shades. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to bring these over to help deal with the warp block to Zales and stuff. And then I can drop the heal on those. Some slackers back there. Vampire Lord. I love their blood. Mortis We just keep going with the heals. It's gonna give us some bats back actually. Very good. Alright, we are pretty much about to win. We just need to finish off what block to Zales. I need to finish off that unit because it's about to kill my Vargolf. actually gonna die. I want to end the battle before it dies. I think things should really stop disintegrating after the uh, battle has ended like that. Kind of seems silly. And my wolves did die. I would like to take the magic, but if there's any attrition, my Army just dies. My blood not falls. Right, we'll chase him down. It's funny how a Pyrrhic, Pyrrhic victory wouldn't kill that Vargolf. But will kill the Brave Guard. Okay. Well, we're going to move back into friendly territory. Uh, I can probably just put another bat unit in here instead of the dogs. That is two of, our, of, of their armies dealt with, so that's nice. Very nice indeed. This better be important. I'm thinking I should probably get Cattle Herder on every Von Karstein bloodline just so that we can get more... Seems like a good idea. Just to diversify the armies a little bit. Uh, let's just get armor first. It's more important to make them tanky. Let's head over to Gaines. Alright, Gaines, you have some work to do because that is a crap ton of armies on top of each other. Even the law master could not. When they are in march stance. Beyond even quiet. So there is that. I cannot rewrite reality. Far beneath this could be an absolutely wild battle. It will be. Uh, let's see what else needs to be done. Oh yeah, I have Kemler coming up here to help deal with those armies. One of them's moved towards Maragliano. What about the Red Duke? Is he in range to hit Sunken Kernak? He is. We'll take that from them. 
because the thing that I need to do is make it so that they don't have a settlement at all and then they start taking attrition and die unless they can survive without one which may be the case the ruins of Morcane extra weapon strength for zombies skeletons graveguard can race An extra spell resistance the wall building in Galbraz. Uh, we've got Shinmir. Still raining. And Marcus, who is our new boy on the block. What's the raised Deadpool like this turn? Hmm. We'll go in here. The raised dead like. Okay. We're going to come this way. And we're going to pop out in Miragliano. And then we're going to try and raise dead over here. That is the plan. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So what I'm going to do, we'll just finish moving these heroes. And then we'll go back and check out... Is it going to be a success? No. Check out the battle potential a Felix gains. I'm going to have a think about this. I think we could probably pull it off. Because it will pull out the garrison. We'll be up against this army. We'll be up against this army. We'll also be up against Marcio. So it's going to be a lot of kills. But it will be a lot of good kills if we can make it happen. That's it for now. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.